Ugh. Come on, man. I can't read all this. This, this is like four tweets long. It's asking a lot, isn't it? Oh, I'm exhausted. Neptune is the fourth largest planet. Of oh, wait. But they said we had to have brown sight in two places. It's no good with just one signature. Oh, what's the matter with those guys? I think I started doing this stuff yesterday. So I assume the guy in the back is the hothead, right? Get brown to sight and I'll go get a fly. What size do we say we needed? Two inches. All right. Somebody put out donuts in the break room. I even acknowledge good news in this tone. I'd be angry too if I had to do this every time I needed the bathroom key. Wow, the inner tube under your pants look was huge in the 60s. Oh boy. Ah, they're both just waiting for Richard Gear to come pick him up and carry him out of here. The rest of the short is just them calmly achieving the task despite that initial setback. Uh, Tom, you haven't exploded in a mouth-frothing frenzy in nearly two minutes. Everything all right? Oh, God, he's pointing a gun at me. Wet those bags down good before you put the sand on. And have to get the sand on, go over the whole thing with live steam. Th that's all? You don't want to call me a gigantic dumbass or anything? Oh. Damn it, that's not how you shovel sand. Wait, no, still nothing? Ugh. Hothead? I don't know, I guess everyone's still shaken up from Chuck Hamlin's death earlier in the week. Slip this in here to shut off the flow, and in just a couple of minutes, three. Uh, the Bessemer process, the deal of the fast production of steel. It's a one and a half. Oh boy. Except some careless, stupid moron hung it on a two inch peg. His permanent mood is Pine Tower incident George Brett. Right now. I think we could wait off a while and then come to it later on. I don't know. Hey! Have a... You see this? Oh god, his pants are off. And it goes over there at one and a half inch peg. Only some stupid shirt made a mistake and hung it on a two-inch bag. And just because of that, I get a delay on my job. <laughs> what in the hell's the matter with you, Harry? You hit a guy with a thing like that, he could be laid up for a week. Even longer if he could throw hard or aim. You son of a... We'd all get a lot more work on here, nuts. Next time, look it up yourself then before you leave. I... Hey, wait, you know what? I was holding it upside down the whole time. Still, go to hell, all of you! I think I'll wait to tell him I've been sleeping with his wife. <laughs> uh, what were you saying, Clyde? <laughs> oh, uh, about that fuel pump. I thought maybe we could hold off a while and give it a chance to work itself out. Work itself uh, out?! What hours, kind of a truly great... Doing something else, but now we've got to get it fixed. Put him in the other room! Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Boy, that Harry. He's really something else. Well, time for a Viewmaster break. Why does Murph put up with that? Why didn't he tell him off? Ah, the Taj Mahal. To me, a hothead like Harry is nothing but bad news. He must be bad news to Murph, too. But you gotta give Harry credit. He's a doggone good welder. They're hard to come by. Yeah, if you're not willing to hire psychopaths, you're basically Why screwed. Why get away with things that anybody else would get called on fast? Like last week, for example. A high well job come up, and Harry got it. He burned the place down yeah, and killed yeah, the surviving you families. Ahead, you have to great welder. <laughs> He's a great welder. In this case, the rope Harry had was tangled. Anyway, he wanted a new one, and the storekeeper gave him some static. It was then that Harry grew a mullet, put on a beret, and became Jesus Sam Kennison. Blows his top and storms out of the place, raving mad. There was sure no rope down below when he did the high weld job. That was so fans could get close enough to see his legendary welding. He wasn't up there very long, and nobody knows for sure whether Murphy even noticed or not. But if he did. He never let on. Ask me, Murph has fallen in love with Harry. Hell, we all are. And what a lot of us are wondering is, could anybody else have gotten away with it? 
Bill, how do you talk to a person who's always one degree away from boiling over? Well, I, I guess you try to be aware of their issues, but you have to speak the truth. Wrong answer! Whoa. My God, I hate you, you stupid jerk! Take that! Oh! oh. <sighs> Kevin, where did you get that basket of improperly labeled metal parts? Dude, where'd you get that basket? Or do you shut up! Whoa! Easy! Oh my God, that Kevin! What a hothead! Still, damn fine welder. A Forgetter, starring uh, uh, that guy. What, what's his name? <laughs> Whoa, I lost a finger just by watching this thing. The Forgetter was filmed in front of a live studio audience. Ooh! <laughs> uh, not yet, studio audience. He hasn't done his signature forgetting yet. Hey! Yeah! Woo -hoo! Yeah! Woo -hoo! Uh, knock it off, audience. He's a new character. You don't know what his deal is. <laughs> that, that wasn't fun. You don't go to hell, live studio audience. Aww. Art! Art! Let's go kill Kennedy! Oh, right. I'm in Devo. Art. Unless you keep your mind on your job every minute, Sad people soullessly stamping out product. This is how I picture Marvel situation. films. They're routine things mostly. Little things in themselves. But overlooking any one of them can lead to big trouble fast. Yet ironically, none at all in and Little China. Problem. He forgets too many things too often. For example, he doesn't even work in this factory. He's an elementary school vice principal. Being LBJ is hard work. <laughs> that button just killed the forgetter. Punishment for being a dumb, forgetful piece of crap. Well, credit where it's due, the hollow sound design of the short really captures the feeling of your life slipping away in a factory. You're fired. Go to hell. Art! Art! Your eyes are gorgeous, Art! Trying to keep you guys in one piece is taking more of my time than it really should. Yeah, what do you mean? Well, what I mean is this is the third time in five days you've left your machine without shutting it down. What's wrong, Art? Well, I reckon I just long for death is all. I guess I just forgot. Well, I didn't think you did it on purpose, but the thing is... Oh, great. Now that card is slacking, too. I a man from this very department fell over one of those handles not more than two months ago. Yeah, I know. Well, I... Oh, gee, I... Well, darn it, I guess I just forgot. The extreme close-up was helpful. You're Thank like you. A broken record. <laughs> now, look. If you don't start keeping your mind on your business, sooner or later something else is going to break. Like an arm or a leg. Which, by the way, is also what an oil change will cost you if you go to those other guys. Howdy. Safety is a part of it. Now, ask yourself a few simple questions. Like, how would you... Fade out of existence? <laughs> Art Benson is the kind of worker who forgets things. It's as simple as that. Or is it? I don't remember. There are a lot of forgetters in industry, and they represent one of the most complex and frustrating human relations problems faced by supervisors today. In other words, human relations supervisors had it easy Usually, back then. a series of incidents will call attention to the presence of the problem. When they do, the problem itself may be met head-on and handled by the book, all the way down the line. Follow the book. As Love a the result, book. Kiss the book. The outlook for improvement should be favorable. But then, that unpredictable quality we call human nature enters the picture. I hope my contempt for human nature came through clearly enough. <laughs> Detailed drawing of Babar the Elephant's genitals. Got it. Thanks, boss. The supervisor rushes Art and punches him in the head over and over again until he finally stops moving. Remember your goggles! Ugh. 
You don't have to hear it. You know what Art's going to say. He just forgot. What's his supervisor to do? Art is his father, Reminding? after all. Lecturing? Are these the only tools available to men who want to be effective leaders of their departments? Is it time to bring back spanking? When is it reasonable to identify this problem and deal with it? Is there any for the forgetter? Any what for the forgetter? Yeah, they forgot to say. How am I supposed to read this when all I can think about is how much I miss Chuck Hamlin? <laughs> we love you, Chuck, you danger handshaking madman. Copyright by Rift Tracks, all rights reserved.